Hey everybody, this is Mayhem, and I wanted to create a quick video for you guys, a quick tutorial on how to fix your Battle.net server error when trying to launch Warzone in uh, Battle.net. I have seen this error, and I've actually been dealing with this error, and I had a workaround for this error. Um, my reasoning behind it is when they launched globally the anti-cheat and had the update, it ruined a lot of the firewall blockers for... Warzone, uh, you give Warzone access with Defender Firewall and uh, enable the access for public use in order to play online. But I think something happened there where it ruined the game and the launching settings on Battle.net and also when in the game. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a workaround. I actually found this video on YouTube itself initially from somebody else that I'm gonna link down below and I'll have his name down below as well so you guys can check out the original video. Um, but he goes on a rant, rightfully so, on how this game is so broken and it is <laughs> just not worth playing, and I kind of could agree. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the workaround that I initially found and that wasn't working for me, but I'm gonna show you what he did in the video in order to make the fix and be able to launch the game in Battle.net with no hassles and no errors at all. All right, so as you guys probably know, when you hit play the game, it gives you an error that pops up right here and it tells you like BLNBZ, I mean, I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can take a look at it. Um, but this error is very, very tiresome. It always asks you to scan and repair and that didn't work and just threw you through this loop and loop and loop that you had to go through. Believe me, I've done so many things. I've uninstalled the game. I've done all these things to reinstall it, all these workarounds. And what I was doing that was working was going show and explore, opening up my game file and launching the game through this route through the launcher and giving my my launcher admin access and it would work but it would only work at times and at some moments it would still give me quick game error full screen and it wouldn't allow me to play the game but the workaround is now here and here was what you guys have to do so here is the workaround on your search bar go ahead and type this pc hit enter It'll take you to your pc files and you want to open up the files for where your game is installed so mine's installed in my windows c drive on my SSD and you can hear you see here I have a, a file named wars unfixed what you're gonna want to do is create a new file for you guys because you probably have it either in program files like I did initially or whatever folder you have it in but you're gonna go ahead and create a new folder and title it whatever you want I'm just gonna title it warzone so I can go back to that file folder and then you're gonna go into where the game is actually installed so mine is installed in warzone fixed what I'm going to do is right click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and hit cut. Then I'm going to go back into the new file folder that I created. You're going to open it up and hit paste. Once you do that, double check to make sure that this is no longer in there. And what you can do is delete the old file folder where the game was installed in. So then you only have your new file folder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close out a battle net, reopen it up. So once it's opened up again, you're going to have it say install. Do not click install. You're going to come down here where it says already installed and locate the game file. So what you're going to do is go down to where I have it on the C drive. I don't know why this isn't, this is in my program files. So you're going to want to locate the file itself. So mine is in my C drive under Warzone, and you're gonna just click once on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and make sure it's the folder that's selected and you're gonna select the folder. Once that happens, it's gonna initialize it and then it'll be set, ready to go. And then you're gonna hit play game. And this is the most important part. Once you hit play game, there's gonna be a Defender Firewall pop-up and you're gonna to have to allow Warzone access for the firewall. So boom, the game is now loading, which is perfect, which is great. So it's loading, installing shaders, but a pop-up is gonna happen and it's gonna ask you to allow firewall access. So it actually looks like it didn't do it on this time around. I've done this multiple times because I've been trying to create this video for you guys and put it out quick so more people have access to understanding how to make this fix. Um, but 
in this beginning home screen, there is going to be a Windows notification that does pop up to allow access, public access for the Defender Firewall for Warzone, and you're going to want to hit allow. Um, that's going to help a lot and finalize everything so you can start loading this game and launching this game through the Battle.net and not having to do this workaround or have those server errors at all. Um, so I hope this guys. So I hope this helped, guys. Again, I hope this helped, guys. This video was helpful, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe down below if you want to follow the channel. It is very helpful for me. And you guys can get access to scary games that I play. Also, just Call of Duty gameplay and Splitgate or Halo. And also any new games that we do as well. And be part of the community and join if you guys would like to. It does help me out a lot. Um, and feel free to catch me live when I'm on Twitch. Link down below in the description. But I hope this helped you guys out. It definitely helped me out. And I hope you guys can continue to get to play this broken game and try to have some fun. All right, guys. My name is Mayhem. Thanks.